What's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. So some of you guys have asked me should I get a VPS for bug bounties and if so what can I use it for? I always say yes of course you should get a VPS and there are several reasons for it. So let's go over them right now. The first one you guys should always get a VPS for in my opinion is say for example you're hacking your target and you want to make a remote connection remote reverse shell i mean if you want to make a reverse shell connection you're going to need an ip address to connect to and you're going to need to get somewhere to start netcat on now the problem is if you want to do this on your home computer on on your virtual machine that's running on your computer you're going to need to and set up your network properly so that computer is going to get into the demilitarized zone and you can actually have that port open in that DMZ. Now that's going to be a whole lot of work, it's going to put your computer in danger a little bit. Uh, so it's always better in my opinion to get a virtual private server for that. That's the first reason, real simple. Um, the second reason I would always get recommend doing it is say for example you want to run some tasks. So you're running, you're scanning a network, the network is pretty big, it's taking a while and you want to run a task that might take like two or four or six hours even. You don't want to keep your computer on for that long and risk running uh, into a crash or something like that. So. That's why for me, I always use my virtual private server for those kind of tasks. I've automated a few scripts that I run on it. Uh, some of it include like Nikto, Nmap. I might scan a complete network, see what's on there. Um, there are several things I'm trying to do. Also with Docker, for example, you can do uh, quite a lot on a virtual private server. So if you really want to do a task that's taking a while, I would highly recommend it for that. You can use the no hang up command I think it's called no hub so n o h u p and if you put a command behind that and then put the end sign so the ampersand if you put that sign behind your command it's going to keep on running even if you close down the virtual private server and you can keep uh, sending it other commands now another great thing about a virtual private server is that it keeps on running as long as you keep it online. So you can run cron jobs on it as well. I use it to run cron jobs on my targets sometimes. Now, this is a secret that I do. So you guys, if you really want to do something like I do it, this is what I do for my targets. I'm a functional tester, but I will automate some stuff. So the stuff that I will automate is pretty simple. I go to my target with Python. Um, I just take an MD5 hash of the HTML that gets returned and if the MD5 hash is different, I put up an alert. Now why do I do this? Because um, when I go to the home page of my target, for example, the HTML page might be pretty static. By the way, I filter out the parts that are uh, not static, that are dynamic. So you say, for example, some IDs get returned in the response. I filter them out completely and I only take the static parts. But if they're different, then I know that my target has changed a little bit and that's going to give me some uh, uh, clues that I have to check it out again because there are a lot of regression bugs as well. So that's also a thing you can use your virtual private server for, you know, running your own scripts into a cron job. Really interesting use case for me as well. Um, now, another thing that you can use your VPS for, but I wouldn't recommend it, is setting up your own VPN server. Um, it's much easier to just rent a VPN server if you really want one. Um, they don't cost that much anymore, but if you want to, you can use it for that, of course. So those are some uses. I would highly recommend that you get one. Now, people also ask which one should I get? Um, it's pretty easy. I wouldn't get one that's really powerful. I would get one that's as cheap as possible. The ones that I have, I have two. One is called Buck Hunter and the other one is called Buck Hunter 2. And those things are the cheapest ones that I could find on Linode. I'll put my referral code in the description as well if you guys want to get a virtual private server. It would help me out and I think it would help you guys out as well. Um, so 
those are some of the reasons you can use a virtual private server for. I would highly recommend getting the cheapest one. Don't go and overspend on it because you just want to run simple tasks and it usually doesn't take too much memory. And if you guys want, referral code will be in the description below. Now, another announcement that I have real quick for you guys, YouTube membership will be coming. So if you want another way to support the channel um, and you have some spare change, I would highly appreciate it if you guys would become a YouTube member. There are perks in it, of course, as well. Um, the perks will be available when you click on the membership button. So thank you very much for listening to me. I love you guys very much. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.